in the hunting season for the AL playoffs. In the East, Boston, five and a half back in New York. Probably done. Central, Sox, Twins, flat foot tie, KC, trailing bad. West, A's ahead of Seattle, two and a half in the wild card. Well, the Mariners a little closer there, just a half game out. Now, safe base one, Boston between the Sox and the Sox. John Burke, 2 and 0 against Chicago this season. Chicago. Carlos and Lee unloading. He gets two points. There was a man on. Lee's 30th homer, first 30 homer season, 2 nothing White Sox. Bottom second, still to love. Mark Burley to Manny Ramirez. Well, he cut that in half. That's far. Manny's 33rd. Sox still up a run, though. The White Ones. Top fifth, 3-2. Burke facing Lee again. This one only half as good. It's a double, but Robbie Alomar scores from first. Sox go 4-2, build the lead to 7-2. Lee, 2 for 4, and 3 RBI. Troy Percival and the Angels can't do nothing this year except maybe try and shut the door in the Mariners. Bottom nine, Angels up 2 on. John Olerud up with Chad Myers at first. Olerud strikes out, but Tom Gregorio's throw goes into center. On the Myers still, Myers takes third with one out. Next batter, Mike Cameron, and he could have been arrested for loitering. Cameron said, I thought it was low, but then again, it was 97 miles per hour, so you're not really sure. Next batter, Randy Wynn, you'll get nothing, and you'll like it. The Mariners only managed three hits. Halos win the game 2-1 until the M's missed a chance to take over the AL wildcard on Sunday. Losing, Boston will look to rebound from a tough series against the Chai Sox as it's streak facing the D-Rays, who they've beat down the last three. Top eight tied at two. Felix Heredia facing Marlon Anderson with two on. Can a brother get a knock? Up the middle, into center field. Anderson was the Mac. Went nine for 16 in the yeah, four-game series. Hitting 471 for his career against the Yankees. Double Rays win it 5-2. For October shakes out like this. Final two weeks of the season. The Central, the Strohs up one in the Cubbies. St. Louis all but gone in the wild card. There you see Florida two and a half up on the fills. Wolf-like L.A. back farther. Josh Beckett on the bump for the Marlins. So Redmond worried from the dugout. Beckett, no earned runs allowed in his last 13 and two-thirds. Top first, that ends that. Gary Sheffield, a laser, his 36th of the year. Monster walk here, 122 ribs, hitting 335. Bottom six, though, the Mays and Marlins get it back to 3-3. And then Derek Lee gives them the lead. He was leaving with his 30th, 4-3 Marlins. He was three for four. Top nine, though, 4-4. Four, four. Two outs, bases Chuck. Robert Fick comes through. Two out hits will get you to heaven. That'll make it 6-4 Braves. They get five in the ninth and avoid the sweep. Win at 8-4. Jarrett Wright closes. Yes, Jim Tomey in the field still battling for the wild card, but can I catch a breather? Finally, the end of their 27-game run in a span of 27 days, and for the 27th and final time, you get to see this fancy <laughs> logo we made. Top to Jim Tomei cannot get a little bit. With the score already four zip, knocks in his 115th and 116th RBI of the year, fills up six love. Bottom nine, 10 7. Mike Williams gets Jack Wilson snoozing. Every Philly starter had at least one hit in the first three innings. Phil's win at 10 7. Dodgers took the first two from the pods. Three would be sweet and a sweep. Five two in the ninth there. Gagne gets Khalil Green swinging. Gagne gets his 51st save, 59th consecutive save. Save the Hank Blaylock thing. L.A. hit four home runs. David Ross had two of them. They win 5-2. Philly, L.A. then each pick up ground in the NL wild card race Sunday. Their wins, coupled with Florida's loss, leaves the Phils a game and a half back. The Bums two and a half back. Big one coming. Marlins, Philly, three games set hitter on a 3-2 pitch. He walks to lead off the inning. Walk number 2062 in his career, tying him for second all-time with Babe Ruth. Then he was lifted for a pinch runner. So he's out of the game, but Bonds going to get tossed for complaining umpire Jim Reynolds about a 3-1 pitch. Yak, yak, yak. So, well, long as you're out, you might as well be really, really out, out. Bottom 11th, we're tied at four. Todd Linden. Oh, yeah, little bingo now. Kid scores Marquise Grissom, and just like that, the Giants win at 5-4, banishing the beer makers back to Milwaukee. 4-3 in the bottom of the fifth. A-Rod facing Jeremy Ficoch and adding to it. En dirección hacia el Jardín Central, A-Rod. A lo profundo. Y no, 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 no. I so should have paid attention to Spanish in college. A-Rod's 43rd homer of the year. Leads the majors. 5-3 range and bottom line. Shane Spencer up two outs and A's up 6-5. He for saving his own personal life. I got it. Come back or A's win it 6-5. Here's the shakeout top of the AL West. Just like the alphabet, A comes before M. 
in the course of a month, August 14th to September 14th, Oakland's gone from four back to three and a half ahead. Eric Milton making his first start of the season. Bottom second, no score. Victor Martinez, base knocked right, maybe not. Dustin Moore was under it, but Mike Ryan comes to make the grab. Kids, remember, call for it in the seventh. Johnny Peralta at bat, right center field. Well, who wants it? Back goes Michael Ryan, shading his eyes oh. to the sun. The ball hit him, carried right to the center fielder Moore, who makes the catch. Look at it again. Ryan said he lost three balls in the sun. Luckily, this one found him in the coconut. Bounced right to Moore. That's 9-8 in the putout. Twins win this thing 5-3. He got a big old nod in his nugget. Mm -hmm. Royals Tigers. Top three. Brian Schmack facing Angel Barroa. Meta. Barroa knocks a single in his center. Ken Harvey. Mindy Lopez score on the throw from center. The ball hits Brent Main at third. Didn't hurt him, shook it off, went home, had a bedtime story. Tigers become the first team in 34 years to lose 110 games. They lose it 7-2. As they did on Saturday, the White Sox, Twins, and Royals finishing up their weekend series in Houston. Bottom four, two on Strohs, two on for Craig Biggio. Breaking kid, yokes it into the hole in the right field side of the ball or the right-hand side of the field. You know what I'm saying. Done. Houston out hit the cards 29-13 in the three-game set, outscored them 20-6. Cubbies and Reds at Wrigley, home team, trying to take all three of them over the weekend. Carlos Zambrano, well done. Pitched eight scoreless innings going into ninth, hadn't allowed a walk, and then Ray Almeida takes ball four. Leadoff hitter on, Zambrano, wild pitch. Almeida advances to third. Hmm. Russell Branding up, two outs, and there's your bloop single, and there's Almeida scoring, and there goes your ball game. The Reds win it, one nothing. Cubs, tough. Loss. Basically a two-game race now in the NL Central. The Cards hanging in by a thread. Houston has opened up a two-game lead over the Cubbies, and we'll have Monday off the Cubs, then open a series with the Mets. A lot of play for if you're the Mets. He seem in control in the AL East, a five-and-a-half on the Red Sox in the Central. The idle White Sox are all tied up with the Twins. Out West, the A's have won six in a row, and they're three-and-a-half up on the Mariners. And in the wild card, the Mariners trailed Boston by just a half game. Well, it happens that if you're a Seattle Mariners fan, it hurts. Back in June, the Mariners had an eight-game lead over Oakland in the AL West. Three months later, they're fighting to get into the postseason. He may not admit it, but a player who'd love to keep Seattle out is Alex Rodriguez. A-Rod got his chance Monday. He and the Rangers hosted the Mariners for the first of four, the first four games of a challenging 10-game road trip, which goes to Oakland before finishing off in Anaheim. Mariners a half game behind Boston for the wild card. That's Colby Lewis, 7.76 ERA entering Monday. What's up with the Seattle Mariners? Well, let's check out the ESPN News hitting chart. It's their hitting, their lack of it. 259 all year, they're above it in September, 213. Look at Brett Boone, here's an example. He went one for four. Meanwhile, Mike Cameron, watch the great play by Michael Young. Getting Cameron at first, it's a top 10 nominee. Cameron also won for four. Rafael Palmero, 34 homers, 102 RBIs entering Monday. Looking to join Jimmy Fox as the only major leaguers to have nine straight, 35 homer and 100 RBI season. So bottom four, let's set the stage. 3-1 Seattle, Rafael Palmero simply makes history. Off of Joel Pinheiro, number 35, also his 500th AL home run. And he does it, joining Jimmy Fox. Sammy Sosa, by the way, also has a shot this season of nine straight 35 homer and 100 RBI seasons. Back to the game. Bottom six, now 4-3 Seattle. Nothing's changed for the Mariners. They still need to win. Two on, two out for Mark Teixeira. A career-high four RBIs for Teixeira, number 23 in the home run department. And the Rangers beat the Mariners 6-4. Derek Lowe and the Red Sox looking to take advantage of these schedule makers putting Tampa in town. Lowe 6-2 career against the Devil Rays facing Rocco Baldelli in the top of the fourth. Baldelli goes down looking. It was a questionable call and the rookie didn't agree. But when you're a rookie, you don't get those calls. Lowe facing Al Martin. Martin chases one of the dirt, his fourth strikeout. Same inning against Damian Rolls. Lowe again gets the call from home plate umpire Larry Vanover. Remdog, your thoughts? The way he's calling him down, I just try to roll the ball at home plate. Legendary Red Sox second baseman Jerry Remy. Manny Ramirez, get out of town. That's over everything. His 34th of the year. And Boston at a 6-2 lead. We go to the top of the eighth. Here's Derek Lowe in control. 
Now we flash back. Remember earlier in the fourth inning, Baldelli strikes out looking at a pitch low in the zone. So here's back in the eighth. Here's Baldelli swinging at a ball low, perhaps remembering that would be a called strike anyway. Might as well give it a shot. Low in the Red Sox, an 8-2 winner. So in the battle for the AL wild card, the Mariners drop to a game and a half back of the Red Sox, two back in the loss column. Boston sends Pedro Martinez to the hill against the Devil Rays. He's won his last six starts against Tampa. Gil Mesh takes the mound for the Mariners. He's 2-0 in his last three starts. Let's go to the Central. Top five, Cleveland up 2-1 on Minnesota. A.J. Pruszynski was hit by a pitch. That's why he's on base. Mike Ryan hits to a double play, but check out Pruszynski's slide in the second. Really takes out Johnny Peralta between innings that Indians bench got heated up over what appeared to be a real late slide over the bag Buddy Bell was ejected by second base umpire Wally Bell no relation I'm sure and Bell would eventually leave top of the sixth Davis still on score tied at two two outs in the bases loaded Torrey Hunter puts one down the line that would score two and give Minnesota a four to two lead later in the inning Still two out, now 7-2 with a man on. Chris John Guzman, a two-run homer. The Twins score eight in the sixth and win 13-6. And Tigers, bottom one. Alex Sanchez of Detroit on third, right? Brian Anderson on the mound. His pitch. Brent Main will throw the ball back to Anderson. And why is Sanchez breaking for home? He's out by a mile. Alan Trammell doesn't know why he broke for home, but this is typical Tigers, unfortunately, for Alan. Top of the ninth, Royals up two. Two on for Joe Randa, no doubt. A career high five RBIs. Randa's 15th. Royals win. The Tigers become the first AL team to lose 111 games since the 1939 Brown. But how about the Royals? With their win, the Twins take over the top spot in the AL Central race. The Royals maintain their three-and-a-half game deficit. For October, looked a little something like this heading into play on Monday. The Astros out in front of the Central over the Cubs. The Marlins out in front of the Wild Card over the Phillies by a game and a half. Now, the Astros were idle. The Cubs look to take advantage of that, and the Mets at Wrigley. Cubs announced Monday. Ron Santos' number will be retired September 28th. Timo Perez, hot smash. Randall Simon, the diving stop, and the flip to Matt Clement, a top 10 nominee. Jeremy Griffiths facing Simon. Ropes a double off the right field wall. Mark Rudzelanek and Moise Salou would come around to score, and the Cubs had themselves a 3 0 lead. We were only in the bottom of the first. Top five, it's 4 1. Danny Garcia with a runner on third. He strikes out swing. Seven innings for Clement, no earned runs. Joe Borowski against Ty Wigginton to end it. He does. Borowski's 29th save, and the Cubs now trail Houston by a game and a half in the Central. In cards, Tony LaRussa in the cards looking to snap a nice four game winning. skid. Bottom three, Jim Edmonds facing Wes Overmiller with two strikes. Alabowski, what's coming? Loves to throw the change up to left handers. There it is. Here it comes. And a fly ball to deep left. Change up. Miller predictable, about to be winless in 11 career starts. Bottom five cards up eight to one, Albert Pujols. He's a fly guy, his 42nd homer. You know, he's got 113 homers in his first three seasons, second most in Major League history. Cards, easy. It's basically a two-team race now in the NL Central with the cards hanging in by a thread. Both the Cubs and cards made up a half game on the idle Astros with their victory. Giants bond 73 homers against San Diego, most against any opponent. Bottom one with the Giants up one nothing, two out bonds. Well, see ya. Number 42 tying pool holes for the major league lead. Number 655, five behind Willie Mays, 100 behind Hammer and Hank Aaron. Bottom eight we go. Giants down seven to five, one out. On the mound, Jay Witasik. Witasik puts bonds on base with four straight pitches. Two are on now. After an Alfonso RBI single to make it 7-6, but Nito Santiago looking for space and finds it. Bonds would come in to score, tying the game at 7. Two batters later, runners on the corners with Tasik. Wild. Pedro Feliz comes home, scoring the go-ahead run. Giants, big victory. Bruce Bochy beside himself. So as I mentioned, but worth repeating, Barry Bonds now 100 homers behind Hank Aaron, 755. To look ahead at when Bonds might catch Aaron, it helps to look back. Bonds' last 100 homers came in 281 games. He
history that is. The A's and Angels defending world champion Angels, eight games under 500. So what's the problem? In honor of Agatha Christie, the great mystery author who was born on September 15th, 113 years ago, we bring you Fallen Angels, a sports center mystery. Fielding the answer to this mystery, Terrence Long on the ground, David Eckstein bobbles it. They get the force, but Long is saved. Miguel Tejada would score. Double play would have ended the inning. Angels are down one nothing. Is pitching the answer to the mystery of the Fallen Angels? Let's see. Ramon Ortiz on the mound. Bags full facing Eric Burns. Ortiz walks him on four pitches. Angels walk in a run. It's 2 nothing A's. Four batters later, Miguel Tejada up with the bases loaded. Two out, Tejada. He's got the magic stick. A grand slam. Tejada's 27th home run. A's up 7-zip. Ortiz will be taken out of the game. Pitching remains a mystery. The mystery of the fallen angels hitting facing Ted Lilly bottom five two out Eric Owens up good contact but Lilly snags it great play more hitting mystery bottom nine two out bags full Keith Falk facing Rob Quinlan he pops it up Falk would chalk up his 43rd save Lilly goes five to get his 11th win and the mystery continues as the A's win seven to four not related, the Yankees and the Orioles. Top of the first, Alfonso Soriano. He's leading off the game. Soriano. And takes the first pitch from Rodrigo Lopez. I like that the Yankees had a 1-0 lead. His 30th homer of the year, his second straight year, 30 home runs, 30 stolen bases, and joins this impressive group with back-to-back 30-30 -back seasons. Even more impressive, Soriano is only the second to do it in the American League. Top of the fourth, more milestones for the Yankees. Jason Giambi launches the ball to straightaway center. His 39th of the year, 100 RBIs for Giambi on the season. It's 10-1. Hideki Matsui with a man on second. Second, bloops one in the left. Jorge Posada scores. Matsui's the third Yankee rookie with 100 RBIs. Tony Lazari and Joe DiMaggio, the other.